my channel so I wanted to do a video based solely around how to do a cut crease because I know that I do I have a few of them on my channel but I don't really go into depth I do like the sped through tutorials so I figured I would actually sit down and talk to you about how I do cut creases and it's kind of like the easiest way in my opinion to do a cut crease. I know that they're really really popular a lot of people love them but don't know how to do them and a lot of people especially with hooded lids think that they can't do cut creases but if I'm being honest I think cut creases suit hooded lids the most because they're kind of benefiting the most from it since it's giving the illusion that you have more lid space than you actually do. I also decided I wanted to incorporate this Tardis Pro Palette. I just picked it up yesterday. It is beyond beautiful. It's so pretty and it literally has like everything I need. It's got a row of, if I can do this without like blinding you. It's got like a row of warm browns, it's got purples, it's got the burgundy tones, and then it's got neutral browns and a black, and then all matte, which is perfect, and then these four shimmers right here, kind of like a coppery, uh, like a champagne, a pinky purple, and a bluey, almost like um, MAC blue brown pigment. So I incorporated this into the look uh, just to see how I liked it, and I, I really like the formula of these. I mean, I always swatch them at work, so I was like, I need to have it. But now that I actually have it, I'm really, really satisfied with this palette. I think it's so beautiful. Thank you, Tarts. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got this little cut crease action, then uh, just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so this is what we have. We're gonna bring that over here. So I already primed the whole eye using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, brow bone to lash line, and then underneath as well. I'm going to take just a fat brush, just something that can pack on a little bit of color, and I'm going to take a skin tone shadow, and I'm just gonna put that right in the crease, up to the brow bone. I'm not bringing it to the lid because I'm still gonna come in with concealer to clean it up, so I don't want to have like all that excess layering. So I'm just putting that on the crease and brow bone and that's gonna take away any tackiness from the eyeshadow so that everything will blend better. Then I'm going in with Fierce on a small angled brush. This is uh, just the e.l.f. small angled brush. And I'm going to start mapping out the cut crease, you know? <laughs> um, since I have hooded lids, I put mine above, you can see above the actual like where my fold is because then when I open my eyes you can still see the entirety of the cut crease and it gives the illusion of having bigger lid space even though mine is non-existent. So I kind of start right in the center and just a small amount of product And I kind of just bring it into right there, lightly feathering it so that it's not too insane because I do use less product on this inner part. And then I'm flicking it out. I do that because I am going to be doing a wing and I just kind of like the way that they both flow out. Um, you can do like a round cut crease if you want to where it will just come like a half moon basically and bring it all the way down and then your wing will kind of cut it off but I like to wing mine out. So then we have that shape going on. Then I'm gonna take a small little blending brush. This one is the an Urban Decay double-sided brush from the Vice palette, one of the Vice palettes, I don't know which one. Um, it's just tiny, but if you have something like this, which is the e.l.f. crease brush, something like that works. Just a really, precise blending brush. Don't be trying to go in with something like this. Small. Think small. Now I'm gonna take in that same fierce shade and I'm gonna cut like I'm gonna lay down my initial product right here right in this kind of like divot just so most of the product placement is right there. And then when you have less product, go ahead and blend inwards. 
by all means if you want to go the same depth all the way across go for it I'm just concentrating most of mine right here I just really like the way that it looks so that's what I'm doing but if you want to bring that depth all the way in all the way out go for it I've done it plenty of times just for this look right here and to show you an easy cut crease I'm gonna concentrate most of it right here and of course if you were clean enough and you weren't super messy with your blending you wouldn't even have to go in and um, clean up with concealer or if you are doing a like a glitter cut crease, like if I wanted to add glitter right at the base of that, that cut, you wouldn't need to clean it up either because the glitter would cover it. Now I'm just really making sure that the lines are completely diffused and then it's really nice and blended out. Good enough. I'm going in with, there it is, my Sigma E30 pencil brush. It's got a really nice tapered point to it so I can get some good product placement. And I'm going in with no filter. Again, right here. And then when you have that less amount of product on your um, brush tips, that's when you can go ahead and sweep it right through the front. Going back in with that uh, other blending brush and blend. I'm gonna go back in with that little elf angled brush and I'm going to take Vamp. And this is gonna go right here. Back in with the pencil brush. I'm going to take a little bit of no filter right over that vamp shade. And then the blending brush with no additional product. I'm pretty satisfied with how that looks. So then I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Small Concealer Brush. It's just a nice flat brush. It's the one I use to clean up my brows. I'm taking just the smallest amount of concealer, like dip, that's like enough to start off with. So then you're just going to trace that crease right underneath just to clean it up so it's nice and sharp. Concealer, I kind of drag down to blend it in with the lid. I'm going to come out here. And wing it out. It's a perfect kind of clean up if you like messed up that wing. This cleans it right up. You can do whatever you want with the lid, if you want to put glitter on, if you want to put a shimmery shadow on. I just kind of figured I would keep it matte today. I do recommend going in with more of a flat brush though, so you can get right up against that, that line without going over the line and getting it into like the cut crease area. So this is the Elf Concealer Brush. It's just a little bit fatter than the Wet n Wild, but it's still flat. And I'm going to take Chic, which is just kind of like a light pink. And just get right up next to that line so you don't have like a gap of like skin tone shade peeking through. And 
if you do end up getting any of that shadow on the the cut crease area, just take your small little angled brush and kind of like flick it off. And then with the shade, I kind of like to angle it out towards the tail. And then when I put the wing on, if there's any shadow underneath that wing, then I will just clean it up with concealer. Onto the wing. I like to draw my wings on with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper because it's a super thin brush tip. But I don't like the finish, it's not matte enough for me, so I fill in with the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Liner, which looks like this. So once you get that on, you'll put on your mascara and then your lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will be right back. Okay, so I did the whole face off camera. So now all I have to do is finish up the eyes and then show you the lip. I'm gonna start back off with that little, little blending brush and I'm just gonna dip right into no filter. I'm going to go in with that Sigma E30, wherever it is. I'm going back in with Vamp. I'm keeping this right up against that lower lash line. Perfect. Going back in with this guy. Blend them together. I'm gonna take this Sephora Collection Colorful, Sh Colorful Shadow and Liner in Secret Boudoir. Bam! <laughs> I use Tarte Exposed Highlight on my cheekbones and I really like to keep my cheekbones in my inner corner highlight like the same color. I'm going to just put that on the inner corner to brighten them up. Okay, and for the lip, I'm going to keep it pretty simple as well. I'm going to be using this NARS Satin Lip Pencil in the shade Rikugian. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Rikugian? It's a pretty pink. Well, it's like a dusty pink. this tutorial let me know what you thought in the comments below if you thought that this was easy enough to follow along I know that sometimes my brain doesn't work as fast as my hands and I can tend to skip verbalizing what I'm doing so I'm hoping I didn't skip any steps during this video uh, let me know down below though if this was something that was easy for you to follow along with if you like me talking through my videos a little bit more feel free to follow me on my other social media i have instagram and twitter both of those are at chelsea louder and then my facebook and snapchat are cn louder hit that little uh, red button down below it says subscribe i would really appreciate it you'd be the best and i guess i will just see you guys in my next video bye <sighs> bye <laughs> This is the third time these people have been going by my house! Are you done? <laughs>